I am here. Yes, everybody, welcome to our our final call for this uh, this this round of the Aikido at the Leading Edge Tele Summit, and uh, this is your turn. So this is really going to be about you guys. I guess all of it was about you guys or the community, but uh, this one I really want to uh, kind of turn the turn the microphone around and, and give everybody a chance to share and and um, you know, wrap up the, the tele-summit. And by doing that, I thought I would begin with a little a story. Um, it, it, and I, it, this could be true, or it could just be this one of these urban myths, or this mythological, new age myth, I should say. But it is said that the aboriginals in Australia, um, they, had a, they had a tribal custom of the walkabout, where they would take the whole tribe, and they would go for a walk in the, in the outback for days and weeks and whatever. And it, was, it was really a spiritual journey. You know, they would walk from this spiritual place to that spiritual place. And, and as they would do their walkabout, they would go for one or two days. And then they had, a, they had a, 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 a custom or a rule that after a few days, they would stop. And they would stay there for one or two days. Because they, they believed that even though their body walked to this new location, they believed that parts of their soul, parts of their spirit was still out there on the journey and it takes time for it to catch up. So they would stop. So here we are, and we've been through quite a journey, quite a walkabout, I guess you could say, over the last 10 days. And many of you on this call have also joined us on this walkabout. But, but here we are, we're gonna kind of finish it off by letting those parts of our spirit, those parts of our soul, those parts of our psyche, those parts of our psychology, those parts of our philosophy, those parts of our, our love, our intention, our inspiration, our passion, whatever it is, you know, something that, that let it catch up to you now. So when we come to the end of this telesummit, you'll, you'll actually be in one piece, body, mind, heart, and spirit. So I thought what we would do is, um, as I said before, this is going to be for you guys. So uh, I want to do at least two breakouts during this session and then give, uh, give people a chance to jump on the call and uh and speak you know speak in the group and i think the first uh the first one would be it would be great for to you know maybe reflect for a moment you know what were some of the highlights for you over this past 10 days you know it could have been this one word that this one teacher spoke about in this one session or it could have been a theme that kept coming up or it could have been something that, you know, you just heard a, a teaching from somebody and it turned something in your life. Another piece of the puzzle fell into place. You know, what, is, what, is, what was your, your main, some of the main highlights that you had over this, uh, this past 10 days? And even if you only attended one, or even if you went back and just watched the recordings, I'm sure there's something there uh, that were highlights for you. And it could have been from the teachers, it could have been participants, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is a very personal question. So, so what I'll do is I'll ask Daniela to put everybody in a breakout group of three, maybe four people. Daniela, is that possible? Yeah, I have now breakout groups of four because there's always for some people not the opportunity to join, yeah. which I would highly recommend for this one to join. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, great. if you can, mm -hmm. please. Yeah, we're going to give you 10 minutes. So, um, you know, there's, uh, let me just check a check. You know, there's 50 people on the call. There's probably going to be a few, a few more jumping in. So we don't have time for 50 people to come in and share, but this is a way for you to really get to share in a more intimate setting. And, uh, and then we'll come back to the main room. And, and, and if you want to share a little bit after that, then uh, I, would, I would love to hear it. Okay, Daniela, will let us know when we're ready. I'm ready when you are. Go for it. Okay, enjoy. See you all in 10 minutes. And we are back, or we're coming back. I think almost everybody's back here. Um, yeah, so would anybody like to raise their hand and share what, uh, what came up for you in, the, in this inquiry or this uh, question, you know, your highlights? I want to hear some of the highlights from you folks. Linda Eskin, great. Thank you, Linda. I'll open your mic, and then we'll go to Gaston after Linda. Hey, Linda. Hi, again. <laughs> and thank you hey. so much for all this um, and, and overarching thing that all of us observed was that there was so much it's so much there's such a breadth and depth of information here i'm sure we'll all be yeah. going back and reviewing it um so it was a it's all a bit overwhelming um a few things that particularly stood out 
Marianne said that she was um, very glad to see and hear Robert Nado Shihan, who she had um, heard mm. heard of, knew of, but hadn't um, run across directly, and that she really admired his courage for bringing Aikido into America, for making it for Americans so early on that uh, she's finding the same kind of challenge in bringing it to Switzerland in, in communicating Aikido there. And she said it beautifully. She said, Aikido has to become local and it's not that locals have to become Japanese. So mm. uh, she said she, she admired his courage and daring to do that so early. And I, that was a great point. I had never considered that. I really yeah, appreciated beautiful. that. Um, Morris uh, also expressed the, you know, being overwhelmed with so much that there are so many, so many things, but one that really struck him um, both that uh, David Shaner sensei and Wendy Palmer sensei expressed was the, um, the different view of the expression extending key, mm -hmm. that extending key seems to involve effort and trying and forcing and um, that the, ex the idea that key is already there, you just need to get out of the way and let it flow, really struck him. And he said it influenced even his meditation practice immediately during the course. You know, he was like trying hard to sit up straight. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and so what he noticed was that if he could just allow that and relax and allow the key to flow through him, everything took less effort. Yeah, beautiful. And then um, something that I noticed, uh, well, again, so many things, but um, one of the things that really occurred to me is, is a renewed sense of urgency and enthusiasm for my own writing about Aikido. That's um, awesome. That's really Yeah, great. I've sort of had some, you know, I've, I've got books I'm working on and they've been on the back burner, you know, for paying gigs, which <laughs> is it's straight offs. Uh, yeah, tell but, me about it. Um, I need to get those out there because, uh, you know, I see there is really a need to communicate Aikido and especially to some of the demographics who maybe aren't watching the MMA versus Aikido videos on YouTube. Um, I find I connect very well with uh, women, older people, out of shape, busted up, people who think, wow, I didn't think I could do this until I, you know, I saw your video and you started late in your 40s and now... I went to the dojo and signed up and, and I, I need to get on that. So that's, that's awesome, what I've Linda. gotten out of it. <laughs> that's really awesome. Ma, thank you. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you so much for this. This has been an amazing gift to the whole community. Yeah. Thank you. You know, you were, you were right there when we started these things about four years ago, I guess you were right there, you know, joining us from the beginning, you know, when, when, with our maestro conference, our phone calls and everything. And mm -hmm. uh, here we are. So thank you. <laughs> Great. Okay. And let's go over to Gaston. And one of my highlights is, is the shining heart of Gaston. Hey, Gaston, how are you doing? Very good, Sensei. Always a pleasure to, to see you all. Um, it was beautiful. Ten minutes ago that uh, we get connected with, uh, I was connected with uh, Chris and Elle. Um, and it, it was just amazing, just the energy immediately to, to, to the love to feel with somebody you, you never see in your life and through Aikido just immediately wanted to go and train. Mm. They were, they were uh, talking about um, maybe speak more about key in, 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 in the seminar. Well, hopefully we're going to have more of these ones. Um, and Chris comments something about finding a key in in real life in in in, in every day life and i i just express in my my own experience how can i get to that point in my daily events and the only the only thing i know is through meditation through breathing L like i told him the only place i found myself is when i'm alone uh, meditating that's when I, sometimes I meditate thinking about something and sometimes I meditate trying to just blind. Mm. And that's when I get the peace and, and the energy to continue with sometimes difficult things outside. And, and it's the only way I know, maybe if we have a comment, somebody else 
um, they can tell you the experience about how they found that piece of key through through every single day life. Uh, and 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 also I want to take this moment to to I'm so grateful and so happy, and my heart is full of joy for for your efforts, Sensei, and and all the time and the hours well non sleeping that you put. We all appreciate that. We all people who are with you right now, and we've been through these ten days. You have to 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 feel that love through us. Your oh, effort yeah. is. I totally feel it. Yeah. yeah. Is 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 we we needed that, Sensei. Thank <laughs> you very much. For me, it was like a battery. You know, like a recharge my energy, <laughs> rethink about things that I'm need to uh, develop. I really need to go back to the basics. Go back to the basics. Breathing. And then after that, continue. Tenkan. Kote Gaeshi. I mean, just to the basics. Well, and I, and I really it. appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much to all. Yeah. And hopefully, we're going to continue with this. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to continue it somehow, Gaston. Thank you very much. Thank you, Enjoy. Linda, because you, your example, Linda, is also motivating for me. You're a warrior. You're amazing. <laughs> Every time I see you, you just give me good spots. So thank you for you and you, Sensei, especially. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. All right. And thank you for your, your infectious enthusiasm, I guess, on. Uh, Daniel Palacios. Your microphone is open. Palacios? Palacios, yes, thank you. Palacios, Hi. Nothing. Like everyone, uh, our gratitude, uh, Miles Sensei, this has been a wonderful, wonderful uh, summit. In our group, we uh, identified the fraternity and the desire to connect that is there from everyone. That was really, mm -hmm. really a joy. And um, Danny in Copenhagen uh, has said that... Uh, uh, this this summit was like a buffet where we can <laughs> you know sample so many things and get so exposed to so many things so no but see, I, Danny Danny's from Kobe he's a Viking so it's not a buffet it's a smorgasbord smorgasbord <laughs> <laughs> indeed <laughs> well let's call things for what they are <laughs> exactly and uh, finally there was this uh, 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 notion of uh, self-revelation or uh, the fact that we identified things that uh, we said, oh, this, this one's for me. You know, we go and practice and do various things either in daily life or on the mat. And uh, as we are practicing, we identify things that we clearly identify as something that is for, for me to work on. And um, the self-revelation was, uh, it's, it's wonderful to know that, to identify that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Daniel. That's great. So highlights, your highlights of this uh, past 10 days. Mandy Barber, your microphone is open. Hi there. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm holding up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to say something about um, practicing Aikido in everyday life. Um, connecting with your energy, with your key, um, without being on the mat. Um, because um, after, you know, her injuring my back, not on the mat, um, I haven't been able to train um, for about 10 years. Um, but I do train um, by doing um, just everyday things that everyone does, um, like washing the dishes, cutting vegetables, walking. Um, I do Pilates. Um, there are things that you can do within yourself. Um, breathing, okay? There's the, there's the um, to me, that's the door, okay? That's the door to, um, to other dimensions. Um, so when you breathe, you're opening yourself up to um, not only other aspects of yourself, um, as Nadeau said, finer aspects, he used to say bigger aspects, um, but 
it allows you to connect to your mind and body. Um, and, you know, a lot of us just live in our heads all the time and you need to live in both. Mm. Um, and so simple things, you know, doing, doing the dishes, uh, doing the laundry, you're breathing, you're saying, okay, you know, uh, you know, you're feeling yourself in such a way that you're not getting tiny, little, you know, because sometimes, you know, people walk on the mat and your body language says it all. You're like, mm, you know, and, yeah. you know, it's like, okay, breathe. You know, there's the doorway, breath, breathing, okay. And um, once you are paying attention to the breathing, you know, yes, all sorts of things start happening in your mind, the negative thoughts go away and your body feels larger uh, for me anyways I'm a small person but you know I feel like a giant sometimes um, so to step into that doorway through breathing much like meditation um, you can do you know in everyday things you know I'm a teacher so you know when I step into the classroom um, you know, I, I can't go in like this. I've got to go in with presence. Mm. Okay. And that's what the breathing and the, um, processing through, um, states of mind, you know, you have to be ready. You have to be present. And, and this, these, the these were, these were somehow the highlights that you got from this, that, that you picked this up throughout the, uh, throughout well, the you know, those teachings, yeah, and, totally. you sound exactly like Nido, or not exactly yeah, like him. Well, Very I trained cool. with him for many, many years. Sure. And, um, but connectivity, okay, yeah, was an yeah. important point I got. That's awesome. Uh, because con you have to have connectivity. You have to have an ability to connect with the other person, whether it be physically, mentally, um, and you have to have the energy to embrace that. Yeah, beautiful. Well, great. Mandy, thank you so much. You're welcome. Good. So, so I'm going to go over to Don and Jed, or maybe it's just Don, I'm not sure. Yeah, Don and Jed, they're both there. Um, but just, to, just I thought I would share with you maybe my highlights. And I, I haven't thought much about it. I just kind of reflect back. And for sure, the Aik Is Aikido a Martial Art panel discussion that was at four in the morning for me. It's still like, you know, here. And it, I, and not because I think it was the best, it was pretty damn interesting and pretty juicy. And I think that we, I think it was held. Uh, some, some stuff is cooking for me in that one still. And I need, I'm gonna, when this thing's over, I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna go and kind of try to kind of come to some conclusions on my own. But uh, that one, that one's very much in there. So it's somehow a highlight. Um, Richard's talk actually today was brilliant. It was really beautiful. That, that was definitely a highlight. Um, Wendy Palmer's uh, uh, interview was, was, I mean, she just has this, what, what, what was it called? Noble, awesome, shiny. So that, that was, I really felt that and it's, it's still with me. Uh, Christian Tissier's um, just sharpness and, and brilliance and, and martial brilliance. And uh, David Shaner, I would, that was a, a I, I know, I mean, I don't know David, I met him uh, before the conference. We had a phone call, it was a really nice call. I've seen some of his stuff and then um, he had such an an infectious enthusiasm when he was teaching that that was really like it, it it kind of caught me by surprise so those are some of my highlights from uh this event don and julie well i think you took away a lot of our highlights <laughs> <laughs> okay i think that you know we didn't have time to listen to all the sessions as of yet so yeah. i think some of the highlights are still yet to come for us um i think i, I missed some of the good sessions i, I started watching uh, uh not in real time but afterwards the john Stevens. i saw i saw you watching from work I did. I was watching from like that because <laughs> uh, I was. Cause, you know what I what I thought was interesting, and Julie and I have discussed this, um, is to think there's so many time zones involved, and the way you brought everybody together in this uh, yeah. in this place, it was really interesting. And we were also discussing what the highlights for us was that you had these great teachers. It even though there's 80 of us on the call, somehow we feel a little um, more intimate because the screen is right there. He's in my living room. Yeah. Right, Christian Tissier is in our in our kitchen talking to us, <laughs> and we're having this dialogue back and forth about Aikido, right? Some questions that I wanted to ask him, and I was able to ask Christian. That's so cool. That's so cool. In my living room, basically, right in my house. 
And I, I just want to tell everybody, like, uh, like three days before, four days, Don was just in Israel on a bit, just by coincidence on a business trip. And yeah. we, he came to one class and then we, 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 uh, I kind of took a break. My wife and daughter were asleep. So after class, I, we went out and had a couple of beers and then three or four days later, here we are, you know, so <laughs> right. very cool uh, synchronicity, I thought. Yeah, me too. And what's, that's when we talk about the highlights, uh, I think for us, uh, that's what yeah. come, came through. And, um, uh, Julia has met some of these teachers, but I hadn't met Paul Linden before, and, and actually hearing well, him yeah. speak was great. I mean, for me, I met uh, some of these teachers, Corky and Paul Linden, about 10 years, more than 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago in Virginia. And, um, you know, I've grown a lot. And to be able to see my own growth when those, those teachers are back in front of me and to hear, I mean, I was moved by what those two instructors were saying, you know, um, and, and watching Corky in the discussion about his Aikido martial art and how uh, I felt my own body change when he was talking with those. Uh, That's awesome. Um, so to, to be able to see my growth and, and watch uh, how these teachers, you know, have grown in the world in that time. And um, it's been very rewarding, you know, I think the rewards are just beginning. Yeah. And I'll echo my comments I, I posted up to the group, which is, uh, it's, 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 it's double the bargain at double the price, you know, so, <laughs> so I, I couldn't find more value in my money than, uh, than this <laughs> it's been great. That's great. Well, beautiful. Thanks guys. Thanks for sharing. It's been great thanks that you've, you've thanks, attended guys. as much as you have. So thank you for that. Um, okay. So again, we'll, we'll take, we got two more hands up. If anybody wants to raise their hand, we'll, We'll take another one and then we might do one more breakout. So, um, Morris, your mic is open from Izmir, Turkey. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to share two things. One is I think the biggest thing, I mean, that I learned after all this was from Miles, which is if you have a good plan, if you believe in something that is like for good, no matter how hard it is, you, you somehow, you know, overcome it. all the hardships, you know, you, you overcome and you can dream something and it happens. But another thing on addition is if it's for a good cause and if it's got content in it, it's amazing how many important people join in just because of compassion. So I see that, I mean, compassion in reality. I mean, th th this is it, I think, because so many people joined in and they all shared their wisdom to everybody. I mean, and it was great. So this is one big lesson for me that to see that things like this may happen in the world, you know. And then, so thanks, Miles. And thanks, everybody, to all, all the senseis. And another thing I just want to share, I, th th that was also a shocking thing. I was listening to Paul Linden Sensei's, you know, talk, and there was this place where he was, you know, pushing, having, I don't know, pushing on somebody and then saying them, like, say something nice about me and then say something bad about me or something. Yeah. And I loved it. So immediately that evening, I took it to my dojo, you know, for the fun of it, of course. <laughs> and I went to my friends and I'm like pushing them. And I said, now say something nice about me and say something. And of course, these guys are like, you got to be out of your mind or something. But it worked. <laughs> so it, it was shocking to see them like they, they couldn't believe what's happening say what what what's happening in their body and in reality cannot be true and we were all laughing of course so you know <laughs> that's great to say as well <laughs> thanks yeah thank you morris and just about you know just about the thing about you know when you believe in something go for it uh that's true um but i i actually had this idea dream whatever you want to call it vision um four or five years ago and I just had to get one project after the next project. I had to get a lot of things out of the way before I could come to this. And um, 
yeah so including babies and you know and, and yeah. whatever, all that stuff so anyways morris thank you for sharing mm -hmm. that that's awesome and uh, randy bonifay uh he jumped in and that's actually where i was going to go next he says a big shout out to roy and daniela who and, and all who helped make this event happen absolutely so maybe we bring on roy roy was having a little bit of internet problem before but roy where's roy's microphone just a moment roy already muted him unmuted him roy, roy. Hi, does it work now better? Can you hear Seems me? Like it, yeah. All right, great. So first, it's really great to see everyone here and to hear your um, great feedback. And I must say, it was very um, it, it was very exciting to get all your um, the emails day by day, hour by hour, and people sharing their um, gratitude for this uh, summit to Mars and It was a real pleasure. And there's only one thing I want to say in the um, in the website. There's this African say that if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And I think we went really far away in the Stella Summit, but not the farest yet. Not yet. And I guess that's soon to come, and we'll we'll go far from further more than that. And um, but it's still great. It, it, it's such a great community to go forward with. So it's really grateful for that. Yeah, Roy, and I just want to say thank you personally because you know I I love the I love meeting. I love the conversations. I love design. You know, designing. It. But the technical stuff, I'm so I get you know if I know it, okay, I can do it. But as soon as there's something that I don't understand, I can be pretty unpleasant to be around. And Roy, Roy. Roy's, you know, they have a saying, I'm going to share this with you guys, there's a saying in, a, in the States, from the States about politics in the States that, that uh, everybody likes sausage until they visit a sausage factory, until you see what the inside of the, what's going on, until you see how the sausage is made. And, um, and we, Roy and I joked that the, do, that the office in the end of a dojo is the sausage factory. <laughs> so it's beautiful what happens out here, but sometimes in, inside of the sausage factory can be very stressful can be very difficult and uh, Roy's right there next to me and I appreciate uh, that he's uh, he hangs in there thank you Roy it was a pleasure yeah great and Daniela we'll, we're gonna I'll bring you in in just a moment if that's okay because uh, I definitely want to bring you in but let's go to Tristan and then we'll do Dirk Tristan your mic's open excellent thank you uh, I just wanted to comment that and I've started watching some of the, the videos of the sessions that I could not attend uh, in person and uh, while I enjoy those, the interactive aspect of this is so remarkable. Isn't it, uh, cool? it, it, it is so cool to have that involvement. It's, it's more than just had you done interviews or podcasts on a video or on an internet site. Yeah. Uh, it's so much greater than that. And yeah. that, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sad to see this kind of wrap up, but I also see the opportunity of taking this conversation and these conversations and these networks and these new people that we're meeting and talking to further. Um, and in using my Arimi, I've uh, set up a Facebook group for uh, people that would like to discuss the physical aspect. Because we've covered so many topics here that uh, I think one discussion group, uh, such as the one that you put up for the, uh, the, uh, this, the seminar, might be even too much uh, for all these conversations going on. But I, I invite all of these, everybody who's had a voice or even has sat quietly and listened but might have something to say, to find ways to reach out, continue this conversation and this level of interactivity. Uh, let's, let's use this as a seed to grow a great tree um, into the future, as opposed to having this seem like a seminar where we all get together and then we all go home and, and sit lonely waiting for another year of this perhaps coming <laughs> around again. Um, Absolutely. So I, I want to thank you, Miles, and all the staff that put this together, all the instructors and everybody who even said something that spoke their mind. Um, it has given me great things and I want to thank all of you, but I, let's keep it going. I, I, lo I love it. Yeah, that's awesome, Tristan. What was the name of the Facebook group that you started? Uh, let me, I'll post it to the chat here. Great, uh, but it's a Facebook group called Aikido, the Marshall side. The Marshall uh, side, great. And, uh, and it's the interaction between the philosophical and the spiritual and the physical is there too. It's not meant to be exclusionary to all of Aikido, but just for those people that, that really love the physical and to help each other figure out how we can, how we can help one another. That's awesome. And I, I, I actually, you just kind of, you know, this, it became clear even before the, the tele summit started that this was going to be something. 
And, um, and then it already is clear, okay, well, I'm sure there's going to be the second and the third and whatever. But it's also clear for me that, that you know, when we, when we light a fire, we also kind of, we light a fire with each other. And, you know, you, you can light a fire underneath somebody else's butt and, I'm, and I light a fire under your butt. And, and I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of this stuff happening. And it's a lot of hard work and a lot of putting it together, but um, it's definitely in the realm of possibility. So I suspect we'll be seeing more stuff like this. Many small matches held together will create a great inferno. There we go. There we go. <laughs> great. Um, I'm just reading something here. Oh, okay. No, thank you very much, Don. Uh, Dirk Hendricks, your mic is open. Good evening, all. Um, what I would like to share is uh, I'm not a long-time practitioner of Aikido, uh, but I've got gains uh, by the things taught to me by my sensei. Um, and I wanted to know what was Aikido. And in the first, I was a bit confused. Um, there were so many views on Aikido, uh, so many facets, and everybody looked differently at the different facets. Um, but actually, um, and that was the highlights, one of my highlights from uh, Jan Nevelius sensei. Mm -hmm. um, he said, it's about intent. Uh, it's about what do you want to do with Aikido? And that was very liberated because I can take all the bits and pieces of information and try to yeah, find within myself what I wanted to do. Um, and I would have also two more highlights. One was the meditation workshop. Um, I forgot her name. Dominique Cassidy. Yes, Dominique. that was really special. Super yeah. special. Dominique was a very, very, very nice person and uh, was a great experience. And I also loved uh, Paul Linden, his directness, his, um, his openness, and the way he makes it, um, yeah, fun. Just fun to watch. It, yeah, really uh, inspiring. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you very much, Dirk. Uh, so David Warden just asked here on the chat, he said, what will happen to the Facebook group for the summit? Well, that's going to continue. I can tell you that. Um, you know, there's a chance that... I still, uh, and I see Dirk is having a beer. Good for you, Dirk. I'm going to have one as soon as this thing is over. <laughs> um, the thing about the, the Facebook group, yeah, it's going to continue. Um, I, I'm doing a lot of media stuff and, and I, I don't always have time. You know, it depends basically on my own personal schedule, but um, I do, I like to do a lot of interviews. So I'll, I'll post stuff there. And I might do something like a monthly community call that we just get together once a month and do stuff like that. But, but I'll, I'll figure that out in the, in the future, but it's going to be, it's going to keep going. It's going to be alive and I'll, I'll continue to post up there and hopefully others will too. Uh, Randy Bonifay. Hey Randy, how are you doing? I'm, I'm very good, Miles. Uh, I, 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 my takeaway from this is so, so enormous. I'm not sure I can like name everybody that I know. Uh, first, I would like to acknowledge you and, mm. in that, in that um, it's, it's kind of wonderful when someone starts out as the teacher and then his student becomes his teacher. Miles, oh, wow. that, that's one of the things you have become for me. Uh, I, I, I've, I've been studying for 35 years. I know how long you've been studying, but your wisdom of what you've gathered over time uh, has surpassed me, and I, I and I and I sit at your feet now. No, oh, come on! I don't know if that's exactly. <laughs> you know, in my mind, it's never going to be that way. I can tell I, you. I understand, I understand. I understand. Then we'll just walk beside each other. How about that? <laughs> that sounds great. I'm happy okay. to do that. Uh, uh, some some of my highlights. Uh, 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 Wendy Palmer. Uh, who just his words were just enlightening and awakening for me uh uh kimberly kimberly and and paul linden and linda holiday and patrick cassidy and and dominique cassidy I, I, every one of these things i went through uh but as you know and you saw during that conference when david shaner talked my ears uh, uh widened sure. and and uh and because he was talking a language that I already talked, and and he 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 just fed seeds to me. I tried during this conference to not only have my ears open, but to have my heart open, and That's and awesome. and that that is the one thing that I'm going to carry away from this is that every person that talked, every person that 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 raised their hands and gave their contributions, 
uh, I'm going to carry this with me for a very, very, very long time. That's awesome. That's beautiful, Randy. Thank you so much. So, you know, and Randy, thank and you. Maybe we can present our 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 teacher, you know, Bill Sosa Sensei, who was a massive uh, yeah. inspiration for both of us. I guess in in our own ways. But um, you know, he was he was lighting a fire underneath us. Way, way back. back. Yeah, and it's still, and it's still burning. It's still burning. Yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you so much, Randy. Thank you. So when you're next time you're at Al's Pizzeria, have a slice and 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 a and a beer for me. All right. Uh, good. So Daniela, can you can you come in? Yes, yeah, sure. Great. Uh, you want to share your highlight? We're, we're going to do one more breakout, everybody, but I thought we'd let uh, Daniela, you know, if Roy's my right hand, Daniela's my left hand. Oh, thank you. You're a right-hander. <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa, whatever you pick one, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you guys are a huge support. Thank you very much. Well, it was really an adventure the last 10 days and also the weeks before, uh, putting that all together and... Um, getting fluent with the new technical platform because what most of you don't know is that it was for us also a new platform to get used to it, to learn a new language, to learn to run it. That was actually a huge thing. And, um, and stressful. Oh God, yes. <laughs> We've done a lot of these calls, but it was always on, uh, uh, it was without the video. Yeah. So this was a new, a new aspect and, and the, the, the technology was a different language than what we were used to. Precisely. And um, seeing that all coming together, it's, it's just amazing. And uh, one of my highlights is surely that um, what this technology can still do, like it, it seems like we, we just scratched the surface and um, there is, there's so much more possible. And uh, just talked yesterday briefly about looking back the last 10 years uh, or, or 10 years ago, this wouldn't have been possible. Yeah. So, so it's, it's just amazing how, how this goes and which direction it goes. And that, that is just mind blowing. Yeah. The sky's the limit. And the other thing is, um, I don't really want to point one of the, um, meetings or sessions out because it feels a little bit like, um, there are a lot of seeds planted and some are for me right now more resonating than others but that doesn't really devalue others. Uh, so, so for me, it takes now really time to digest it, to allow it in, to, um, yeah, to reflect on it and maybe rewatch. Um, I feel a little bit like um, Danny said something from, uh, from um, Buffy, and it feels like it was an all-you-can-eat buffet and I got way too much. So I really need to break now. <laughs> um, but, um, and the third aspect I really want to point out is that, um, yeah, the community which was created through virtual space. I, there, there are people I never met in person, like Linda Eskin, like Don and Jet, like um, Randy, like uh, Mandy, uh, Many, many more I, I can't really name here. And it feels like, well, I was in your kitchen. I was in your living room. I know you guys. And it would be so amazing just to, to really meet you in person on the mat. And it feels like the ice is already broken. Mm. And in a way, we just walk each other home with that. I really yeah. love that. And I suspect there will be an opportunity for us all to meet on the mat sometime mm. in the future. Not <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure there will be. Not too soon. <laughs> anyway, it all um, starts with a vision. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, great, Daniela. Thank you so much. Uh, shall we? All, shall we do another breakout? Uh, wait, is there any more hands up? I, yeah. Shall we do another breakout? <sighs> So, you know, there's three aspects to learning. The first is uh, some type of theory. You know, all the teachers came out and they talked about, they had some theory. They had some, they gave you their teaching in some way. And then the next, the second aspect of learning is to practice. You've got to take that and you've got to, the rubber's got to meet the road. You take the map, you've got to walk the territory. And that could be in the dojo, obviously. That's what we're doing all the time in the dojo. It could be in your daily life with your family, with your your spouse or your partner or your job or driving a car, whatever it is, that's practice. The third thing is reflection, 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 reflection. You have to reflect. 
you have the map, you have the territory, and then after you've walked the territory, you got to step back and you got to reflect on how the map and the territory interconnect. You have to do that. And if you have the reflection aspect, it's the cement that holds the learning together. So uh, this is going to be an opportunity for you guys to reflect. What is your takeaway? It's sim you may have already said that. These are going to be new groups, so it won't matter. What is your takeaway from this event, and how are you going to take it away? So if, um, uh, you know, breathing and, and expanding, as uh, Mandy was telling us, if that's your takeaway, then how are you going to take it away? Where are you going to apply it? How are you going to practice it? Impl implicate yourself now. What's your takeaway, and how are you going to bring it into your life? Yeah. Great. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. I hope that was, uh, that was good for you guys. So we have 30 minutes left in the in this telesummit. So what I want to do now is just open up the mic for anything. If you want to share, you know, what, what you what you're going to take away and, and implement into your life. That's great. Very, very, we all be very happy to hear that. But uh, now we can just open up for anybody who would just like to comment about anything at all. Your experience of this telesummit or there's one, two, three hands are come up. Let's start with Matthew Miranda. Hey, Matthew, how are you? Uh, we spoke about in the room, we spoke about, you know, the theory, the practice, the reflection, and uh, the conversation just gravitated to uh, the individuals being able to apply the Aikido off the mat. Uh, one of the individuals spoke about, he, he's changed the way he deals with his daughter now. Mm. And he deals with her from a place of where he's centered and he tries to guide her in the right direction. Mm. And we went on to talk about the beauty of Aikido and how some of us in society, we need the physical interaction in order to learn how to deal with people. And so at first in Aikido, we're physically learning how to listen, how to enter, how to engage, how to tank on and see from your point of view. And then guide you using right principles, right angles, guide you to a place where we're both safe. But hey, I might be wrong. So I'll have to accept a kaishiwaza. And now I'm okay. And I gotta just fall for the fact that your angles, your positioning was right. So, so Matthew, so, let me ask you, brother, how are you gonna, that's beautiful what you just said. How are you gonna apply it into your life? Where are you gonna take it? Well, this whole summit really proved to me that Aikido is a proven social, emotional, and psychological um, uh, uh, cultivating process. That's awesome. It's proven. That, that it's without a doubt that it's proven that if you get on the mat and you practice Aikido physically, that you will be able to apply the, the intentions, the thoughts and the principles and the reasoning, you'll be able to apply it in a, uh, just a, an intellectual verbal kind of uh, situation. Yeah, right, um, and, and, and let's face it, most Sorry, my, yeah, my mic went out. So let's face it, most of, our, most of our interactions are verbal interactions. You know, we have some physical interactions. We go to the dojo, we train, of course. But when we relate with people, it's, it's energetically or ver it's kind of verbal. It, Miles, it's so amazing. Just now, I was turned on and I was talking and I wanted to talk and I wanted to tell you everything that I wanted to tell you. And then you stopped me and okay. you wanted to talk. And my whole body turned into uke. Nice. My whole body just stopped. And I, and I, and I thought for a second, oh, I, I have more to say. But then I said, no, be a good uke. And I changed. And I just, be, I was ready to fall. That's I was ready to, I was ready to take ukemi. It's like we're two jazz musicians that are just like, and, and you lead, I lead. It doesn't really matter. If you want to lead, I follow. You want to follow, I lead. It's no problem, man. Break fall. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, listen, I, I, I'm sure a few other people, but we love the bamboo. All right. All right. Thank you, Matthew Miranda. Uh, okay, so we have Gaston and Linda, and they, they spoke before. I, I'll, I'll definitely open your mic, but I would actually like to hear from Paul Linden. I saw Paul. It, Paul, can I open your mic? Is that okay? Paul, how are you doing? I am having a tremendous amount of fun. 
Yeah, great. It's a little bit difficult to hear you. I always. I'm having a tremendous amount of fun. That's awesome. I'm very encouraged that people can take things that took me 30 years to learn, and then they can, I finally figured out how to make it simple so we can spread it in the world. And that is what I want to do with the rest of my time on this planet. And so you okay. guys are helping me and enjoying the process. And it's yours now, not mine. That's no, great. That's that's so awesome. You know, I, I, I've got, I spoke with Paul about this telesummit probably three weeks before. He was one of the first people I called because I, I, I suspected that Paul would be like, um, like you know, gung-ho about this. And, and, he, and he was. And not only was he involved with I think, three or four of the sessions, actually, but he was, he was a participant as much as anybody else. I always saw Paul there on the calls and jumping in and, and also contributing to the conversation. Uh, and that was awesome, Paul. Thank you so much for being being the teacher you are but also modeling you know a way to a, a way of learning it's well, really beautiful. you can't learn you can't teach some <laughs> politicians should learn that <laughs> me, i'm trying to create an open source body work yeah beautiful that's the great the more we give away the more we'll have <laughs> but thank you so much for that paul and i appreciate everything that you that you gave us here Thank you. Uh, Sonia, I'm going to put you on the spot. I see you with your, your beautiful cat there. And I would love to hear uh, how, how this has been for you. you. You've also been on quite a few. I mean, you are a part of one session, but you've also been on quite a few of the uh, sessions. Yeah, I have. And I've tremendously enjoyed them. And I'm trying to sit uh, in as much time as I can to listen to everything that I missed. So um, uh, I have still a couple of talks, quite a few to listen to next week. So I'm looking forward to that. But um, uh, it's, it's, for me, what's really nice is that I remember the first breakout session in the beginning of the week, and it felt a little awkward because I'm not familiar with the technology and you don't know the people. And by now, this has really turned into something, you know, every time there's a breakout session, I'm, I'm thinking, yay, who will I end up this time? And where, <laughs> where are they? And this, that's so much fun. And you get used to it. And I think I'm going to miss it, actually. <laughs> so that's really, really good. And um, your question about what will we take um, with us after this week for me, like I said, in our breakout session, um, what I'm really taking with me is um, the question of what do I want to cultivate in my training and not lose sight of this and at the same time be respectful of the fact that other people might want to cultivate other things. Hmm. And also um, it just brought to my attention again how um, huge the variety of things are that Aikido offers to people. It has so much to give, so many different facets to look at, to study, to cultivate. And um, I think that's very genuine about um, Aikido and uh, a wonderful thing. So this is something to respect um, that people take different things from it and that's okay. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Sonia. And, and I'm looking forward to our next chance to train together. I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hopefully this year, but we'll see, I guess. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And uh, Chris, your mic is open. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going good. Good. So, as you know, I've been on some of these throughout the week. I didn't get to make to all of them. Yeah. Um, but the one thing, well, some things I'll take from it. Um, first, like you, the is Aikido a martial art discussion. Um, that's still kind of processing some stuff. <laughs> that uh was discussed at that but I, I i knew that was going to be a good discussion um mm. but the other thing i'm going to take from this too is a lot of the stuff we have discussed and a lot of the speakers have discussed are things that we try to teach our dojo with right. um with my sensei um that i've been with a shout out. Where, where where are you what's your teacher's name what's your dojo's name? i am in virginia and who are you training with? I am with Truman Capone. Okay. And what's the name of the dojo? Um, we actually practice on campus at a university in Virginia. Okay. Okay. Um, but I have been with him for 20 plus years. Wow. 
uh, about 21, 2021. Um, but we try to teach a lot of this that, you know, that has been discussed here, relaxing and, you know, how to take falls and how to teach new people. And, you know, kind of like what uh, Paul Lennon was saying with the tissue thing, like throwing it at the camera. Um, we haven't done that, but we have actually discussed um, about doing our testing like over video, like mm. FaceTime, Skype, something like that. Mm -hmm. So our people in Japan can see it, mm. you know, when we test, which we've never done before. Yeah. Um, well, what, what is it? What do you think that you're going to take away to uh, in, into your Aikido or into your life? Um, I would, I'll have to say that I'm going to have to go back to the discussion with Paul Linden, um, of how to find, I guess, the peace that I need with the, you know, the personal stuff I've had to deal with. Yeah. Um, which I mean, it's hard. It's been hard. Um, I mean, this is stuff I've been dealing with for several years. So I think I'm just going to kind of take that too and, you know, see if I can see if I can find that. Um, cause I did find it at one time with other stuff that happened. Um, but yeah, Chris, I mean, I think already making that declaration, especially in public, you know, with, the, <laughs> with us, it's, a, it's already a big step in the right direction. Um, but like I said, I mean, I did find that kind of that acceptance, I guess, yeah. with situations once. Um, but this last one hasn't been, I haven't done it yet. Paul, I'm going to open your mic. I have, yes. Uh, think of something that makes you happy inside. Trick your body into being happy when you deal with the difficulty. As I, I think I mentioned, my practice for quite a while is Parkinson's. And it takes the pain out of the pain. It takes the unacceptable and makes it somewhat acceptable. And when you don't let it throw you, then you can do some work. Well, there you go, Chris. You got your 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 your, your private lesson there at the end of the telesummit. And if you want to email me, Chris, I do respond to emails. Okay. So, What's your address, Paul? Paul Linden at AOL dot com. All right. Well, there you go. Thank you very much, Paul, and and thank you, Chris, for for sharing that. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome, uh, Gaston. What is your takeaway and how are you going to apply it into your life? It's so much to process. Yeah. Um, how I put it to my life is like practicing outside the math. Like I fall, but then I stand up. I'll be in, um, now here in Chris, I have a couple of years. I have a rough time with situation, personal situations uh, who put me like going to depression but Aikido always learn, uh, teach me how to deal with everything. Just what you do on the mat, do it outside. Make the energy flow. Don't make resistance. Uh, accept the energy. Try to be a good uke. Because for me, it's, it's more uke than nage, no? the union. Uh, I'm taking a lot of uh, union, a lot of love. Uh, sometimes I feel a little like alone in the world, but now with all these uh, people, community, hearing the teachers, I mean, all the, the information that we get uh, is amazing. It's just, I need some time to process, but how, how I, I take this, I just take it immediate. This is like immediately, every, every day I'm, I'm with you guys immediately goes through my family. I mean, I'm smiling more, I'm more peaceful, I have more energy. My daughter is like, Papa, Papa, what, what's going on? 
Where are you going? What happened? You look like you just trained. And it, it, it was that. I just trained hearing all the information, seeing all these people together, the ones who participate, the ones who just hear and, and, and keep it to themselves. But uh, one thing that I, that I like wish is uh, to keep in touch with you all. Uh, I hear Paul, a, a, an amazing uh, teacher, so much wisdom. Uh, I feel Chris, his, his energy. Uh, I feel like, hey, brother, I'm here. I want to train with you. Uh, so how, how, how is there a way that we can keep in touch? I, I, I'm trying to, to keep in touch using the, commu the, the, the communication that we have. So I'm taking a lot. It's hard to express everything I'm taking for this seminar. Uh, uh, so I, I need time, but one of the things is, is that H how can we keep in touch so we can be more often uh, uh, this like talking to yeah, people that I just meet is, is great, great, great. Thank you, well, thank like, you for you all. You're very welcome, guest. And look, I'm going to continue to do this type of stuff, uh, li live events, of course, and also uh, seminars. Wonderful. So this, but um, just, just you're on the mailing list, so you'll, you'll, you'll hear about it at some point in the future. Thank you, Gaston. Thanks for your beautiful enthusiasm and your open. Thank you. Thank you very much. Heart. Absolutely. And give a big kiss to your daughter for me. Thank you. All right. Aikido <laughs> continue through our kids. I just have a one-year-old baby boy. Oh, everything fantastic. I'm learning, everything I'm learning is going to go through me to them. With I'm time. sure. Yeah. So these things are very powerful because this transient from this time to the next generations, to our Great. kids and the next thank generation you. of Aikido. So thank you, thank you, Miles, for, for, you're welcome, for open this door for us. Thank you very much. David Warden, your mic is open. Yeah, hello, Miles. Thank you very much again for this, what you've been doing this week. It's been yeah. amazing. Um, I, I'm just gushing with, with, I don't know, lots of thoughts, overwhelmed, everything. It's just uh, been, uh, yeah. Incredible. Uh, difficult to sort of say which are the best highlights because um, everything I've listened to and interviews I've talked to, the workshops I've been with, the people I've met in the breakout rooms, as Sonia said, uh, are all being special. Uh, the Jan Novellius talk is probably the one I wrote the most down. I've wrote a, an absolute uh, essay on what uh, Jan has <laughs> and I'm looking to trying some of those things. There's almost too much to talk about. But the uh, but even things like, um, I've never met Wendy Palmer when she was talking, my wife was listening and she says, who's that woman came over and had a look and was, was sat there watching as well. And oh, well, where, where is she? Where can we go and meet her? Can we go and see her? Um, it, just the energy that came out of the, out of the, um, uh, all of the conferences were fantastic. And then just that interaction that Paul did two minutes ago was just, was just incredible. That was just, it was instant. It was live. It was, it was there, uh, across the hands across the world sort of thing. It was just, Wow, um, yeah, tremendous. And then Matthew's enthusiasm and his bamboo, yeah, just fantastic. <laughs> um, get a word in with him. I, I was in a breakout with him once, and uh, I was waiting for him to breathe, and he didn't. I never got for ten minutes. It was amazing. But uh, yeah, I'll have to do some jazz work on him next time. So yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah, David, thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Um... Linda Eskin, and then we have Aileen. And if nobody else, uh, we're going to open it up for Ask Me Anything You Guys Want. So, but first we'll go to it, Linda Eskin and Aileen. Linda, your mic's open. Hi again. Thank you so much. Uh, very quickly summarizing what I heard in our um, breakout yeah. was that, uh, you know, you asked for whatever, what's our commitment? What are we going to do with this? Yes. And I said, I will be. Um, making a plan to get my books and videos out there in people's hands and out of my head and oh, off of my awesome. notes and get that done. So, uh, that's so awesome. Linda. <laughs> it's, it's going to be a multi-year plan, but you know, it's got to start moving. And, uh, what Morris said was that, uh, he's looking for ways to take Aikido into life, teach it to others, teach the principles to others. Um, as a way to work with problems and conflicts, not necessarily on the mat, uh, not necessarily training in Aikido, but how to take the principles out into the world. And what Marianne um, was committed to was, um, well, keeping in touch was one thing, which I think is really important uh, and, and a big picture thing. 
Mm. And uh, she was looking at ways to blend the technologies like we've done here, how she can use that in her dojo to uh, help further connection and community. And what occurred to me is the, the big picture around those things that we all said and that what I've heard from everyone else here is that there's a lot of leadership going on, that the people who are participating in this telesummit are leaders. And yeah. what we've gotten from this is a lot of tools, a lot of connection, um, support and encouragement, um, some new connections and renewed and renewed ones as well, a real sense of community that, that you've built here. And, uh, you know, you've lit a lot of fires and it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Oh, beautiful. No, thank you so much, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. I, you know, I, just, I just made and it, I, one thing I'll say, and it, I, I heard it from a guy named Michael Hyatt, who is um, he's a blog. He, he has a blog and he, he teaches leadership and, and, and things like that. And, and he always says, when's the best time to plant the tree? Ten years ago. When's mm -hmm. the second, second best time to plant a tree? Right now. Exactly. And if that doesn't put a little fire under our butt, nothing will. Thank yep. you, Linda. Thank you. You're welcome. Aline, Aline from Switzerland. How are you, Aline? Oh, uh, fine, and you? <laughs> I'm very good. Okay. So um, uh, I had so, I had some difficulties to to say one thing. I will take away. Uh, what I take away the most is a global, a global uh, energy, a global feeling about the whole the whole thing. Uh, and if, it, uh, if I make a link with my my recent experience, I, uh, it's not a long time I'm practicing Aikido. It's nine months now. Mm. It's not a lot, <laughs> but uh, maybe there is a question that Jan Nevelius asked in uh, his talk: uh, What kind of humanity do do we want to build? For me, it's uh, really a great question. Yeah, and um, when I think, uh, when I, I look back to what's a wonderful thing I, I received since I, uh, I started Aikido, what I discovered, uh, I feel like a trembling. Uh, I feel I, I received a so huge gift by life. And uh, so I think now, okay, what will I do with this gift now? <laughs> it's like a responsibility too for me. And uh, I, I shared in the group, in the break group, that uh, really for me, it's, it's inspiring to see uh, how you or our Sensei Patrick, uh, you are really giving so much to people and to bring peace to the world and without asking back anything. Mm. For me, it's really a huge inspiration and uh, thank you. Thank you, Ellen. Yeah, thank you for that. Mm. Well, we have uh, eight minutes left and I, wanna, I actually want to save that very last minute for us to sit quietly because we started with meditation 10 days ago. I, would, I think it's a good idea to finish with one minute of meditation. Um, if anybody has any questions, it's a good time to ask. Um, you know, let's see, Daniel says, what, what is the first step in the first list you provided leading into the second breakout group? Number two was practice, number three was reflection, but I didn't catch. Oh, it's the three aspects of learning. No, it's, it's a, a theory, practice, and reflection. Theory is the map, practice is the territory, Reflection is when you stand back and see how they relate to each other. Um, yeah, so just a few practical things. The, 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 the uploads are very slow. They're, they're, anyways, I'm sorry. I, I know I always sound very apologetic and I'm, I'm trying to work on that. But um, I will get them up there hopefully in the next day or two. They should all be up, including this talk. And um, I, to I told you I would keep it up there for until about the 23rd, but I'll, I'll keep it up till the end of the week for you guys. So you can all get a chance to, um, you know, get a chance to, to watch the replays. And um, <clears throat> then we're going to close this door. And um, at a later point sometime in the future, 
um, I will be offering this for, for sale. And just to kind of be transparent about my intentions, all this work that I'm doing now, it's, it, you know, there is a, a business plan behind it. So, um, you know, it'll be, it'll be reasonably priced and, and, uh, but for now it is there for free and you can, you can all get it and even download it if you want. So, so, um, I have no problem with that. If you do download it, please don't publish it anywhere. That's the only thing I would, I would ask, save it for your own personal, uh, use. And, um, and in the future, probably in a couple of weeks, you're going to be hearing from me that we, we, we are producing an, an Aikido master's class with somewhere between eight to 10 teachers and teachers who are on this Tele Summit uh, to go a little bit deeper into the process. Now, I know that this was a lot. There's so much information you need to take it in. But um, if you want to go deeper into a process over, over like a two to three month period, period of time, we'll be meeting once a week. Each teacher, you know, will be meeting in this format and each teacher will bring their, their, their top teachings on how to kind of implement these, their practices into your life a, a little bit deeper. So you, that's going to be anywhere from eight to 12 weeks, probably closer to 12 week course, a three month course. Uh, called the Aikido Masterclass. So keep your eyes open for that. And um, that's kind of, I didn't mention it all yet, but you will hear about that in the near future. And Julie has her hand up. Uh, Julia has her hand up. Hi, Julia. How are you? Hi. Are you yeah, there you yeah. are. Hi. You had a question. Well, yeah, I'm okay. Um, thank, thanks for asking. Um, I, I hope I'm not being nosy, but I was wondering if your wife is also doing Aikido. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. She she doesn't do Aikido, although, although um, you know we play around a lot. You know, we like we actually like to dance a lot. So so, but she's more. Uh, so we we play Aikido in a way in, in 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 the you know here at home. But no, she's more of a yogi. She's like yoga's her her, her path, and uh, and she's also kind of a designer and artist and. And I would say she's got a deep embodiment practice, but it's more through yoga and probably dance. And uh, she oh. plays around with the idea of doing Aikido, but but not yet. And my daughter loves Aikido. Oh well, yeah, that's all. That's all good. That's all good. Great. Yeah, thank you, Julia. And thank Julia, you. it's been great to see you uh, participating in in this uh, in this uh, tele summit. I know you joined many of the sessions. I hope it was some benefit for you. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank you for putting it on. Absolutely. You're very welcome. So before we finish, does anybody else have a question? Ask me anything. You got a couple of minutes. If we, you know, if we're going to go 90 minutes, nobody says we have to go 90 minutes. There is one question, Mars, and yeah. then you reminded us. We need to ask oh, no. you because we ask every teacher. You can't <laughs> escape, Mars. But what is your top training tip? Oh. for keeping your Aikido at the leading edge? Um, <clears throat> embrace the tension. Embrace the tension or the conflict, that, that point, that place where, there's, where two perspectives can't occupy the same place at the same time and they, they cause a tension embrace that you know if, if aikido is not about holding that space you know with, with inner awareness and, and patience and, and a certain capacity and then our skills if, if aikido is not about holding that space where two opposing perspectives are, are creating attention um, then aikido is about nothing so create the the inner container and the external skills to hold that tension and um, evolution just happens beautiful That's well, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you for, I thought I was going to get away from that one. All right, we got no, two more. No, you reminded us. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to open up Chris's mic. And Matthew Miranda, I will open your mic if you promise not to talk a lot. Okay? All right, uh, first Chris. Chris. Hey, okay, so my question will be for you. Okay. Of this whole Tell Summit, which topic and instructor did you i guess get the most out of oh yeah you know 
I mean, Christian Tissier is just a brilliant genius and, 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 and just in the technical, he's a technical genius. And, and that's one of the reasons he's the, like one of the top guys in the world. So it's always for me to come into contact with him. It's, it's like, I'm just like <gasps> trying to catch up with what he's saying. It's, it's, it's rich. But I could say the same thing for everybody. You know, I, I kind of mentioned it before. Wendy was very touching for me for some reason. You know, she, her, her, her energy was very enthusiastic for me. David Shana was also very touching for me. But, you know, not to diminish anybody else. They were all amazing. And I guess I say my own, I, you know what? I have to be honest, Chris, here. My own leading edge, what's cooking the most inside of me is the, is the panel discussion on the Zaikiro martial art. I know. Not, yeah, not, not because that, that I, 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 not, you know, I, I'm, it's such a dualistic conversation and it's gonna be, a, 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 to the end of day, people are gonna be arguing about that. But I'm passionate about, 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 about cracking the code there. Because I don't think, I don't think the answer is a better kotegashi and I don't think the answer is sitting down and meditating. That's the dualism. Oh, since they discovered it and that's, 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 that's what I want, so. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Chris. Thanks. And Matthew, can you can you keep it to a few words? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> uh, just quickly. Sure. One point. Aikido is a martial art, but it's the kudo of martial arts. <laughs> okay. And on, and two and two. You said that two opposing forces can occupy the same place at one time. But? But that's, but that's the beauty of Aikido. Aikido gave us the way for yeah, two I, different forces to occupy at the same time. Right on, brother. That's, per, that's perfect. And we will finish with that. Words of wisdom from my brother, Matthew. Um, shall we sit quietly for one minute? Can we, can we hang out for one more minute? All right, let's... Uh... I'm going to try to use my, 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 my app here. Okay, everybody. Until we have the very good fortune to meet again, may we all keep our Aikido at the leading edge. Thank you very much. I love you all. Until next time. Bye bye. Que le falta la cabeza. Gracias, Mm. Did you open all the mics, Daniela? Yes. Everybody, we love you. Thank bye, you. Bye. 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 See everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you all. Go to see Thank Miles. You Miles. <laughs> Thank you, Miles. Bye, Thank you, Miles. Thank you, Miles. Thank you, Miles. Thank you, Miles. All the love in the world. Bye. Gaston, Gaston.